Hi guys, I'm back. Yes, I'm back and I have a lot of stuff to show you again and to talk about. So, first off, you see the colors up here that I've mixed? I have four beautiful blues, I have two greens, and I have a white. And we're going to be pouring that on a 30 by 30 uh, centimeter canvas. Push pins, the corners, I uh, put them in to make the, uh, the canvas just a little tighter. You can hear it. It's like a drum, then you know it's pretty tight. Um, this is the sponsor list. So, um, for anyone still not knowing about sponsorship, it's just, you know, people that sponsor the channel and uh, so that I can do all the experiments and uh, people enjoy watching the experiments and that's why I get sponsored. I know for a fact, and I'm, I'm saying fact, that people sponsor me with no expectations of getting anything in return because I've had many, many, many emails about it. I have had, uh, since I started this channel, I think over 200 emails of people telling me I, I am sponsoring you, but I do not want anything in return. I don't need anything in return. That's not the reason I sponsor you. So let's get that totally out of the way because, you know, you, I don't talk about what I give away in the beginning of the month. It just sort of like out of the blue happens. Maybe this will be a beautiful pour, this, this thing I'm going to pour in a minute. And we might just decide that I'm going to give that away. Who knows? It has not, nothing to do with the sponsorship. So, uh, first off, Fiona, you you talked about this this piece of Yippo. You said, oh, I love that. I would just put a frame on it and uh, I'd hang it. Well, I think it's big enough to frame because this is my hand and this is the piece of Yippo. So um, I think it dried up beautifully because it's all dry. And um, I'll hold it up close so you can see if you really like it. And if you do, let me know. All you have to do is pay for the, for the envelope and I'll send it to you. Okay? So the next one. This was that piece, you know, I did a swipe on on the plastic on this stuff. And um, I just made a little beginning because you can see how you can just peel it off. See that? It just comes off like that. And I didn't do it very carefully, but you could do it real careful. And then, as you can see, you have a skin. And you can flatten it out totally. I'm pretty sure about it because I've done that before. If you put it on some surface with it, where you put in, uh, put on some pouring medium, you can just take one of those little roller things and you can flatten it straight out and all these little creases will go. But you can make some beautiful stuff out of these uh, skins and um, a lot of people are asking me to show what, what you can do with them, but I did already did a couple of videos. And uh, if you search the videos for skins, you'll, you'll find them. Because I know a lot of people don't know that you can search for videos with keywords. You just go to my uh, channel page, the, the homepage channel page, and um, you click on the little magnifying glass. You put in a keyword like macro or um, skins or birdhouse. I have poured a birdhouse a while back. So you can do all those keywords in there and you can find my... Um, my videos then you don't have to go through 300 videos I know how cumbersome that is so we got that figured out we have oh yeah um, what I do like is let's see if I can get it have to get the dust out of it see a while back I made this this is um a little wooden box. I painted the inside, beautiful color blue, has a little metallic shine going on. And um, this is a uh, macro of a pour I did. I did a little swipe, 
and this is what um, what I made and I'm telling you it's this small the whole picture is this small then I just blew it up a little in Photoshop and I cut the pieces accordingly for the box so first I took the box apart took off the hinges then you have a top and a bottom bit then all you have to do is measure up these surfaces you measure them up you put them in Photoshop and in Photoshop you can give the dimensions of something you want so I did that printed them out pasted them on the box with uh, I think I did that with uh, PVA then um, when you have all the pieces in place you let it dry for a couple of hours and then I sprayed the uh, the whole thing with an acrylic spray with UV protection and that's what you get then you get a nice little box see I like doing this uh, more than working with skins I, I sort of I don't know you know if you have I've, I've heard a couple of people say oh yeah cool I love those macros so um, if you don't have the skills to pour a big canvas what you can do is do those little pieces on Yupo and give you an, uh, an idea see if I were to do this I would pick out something really pretty and for this piece I would go for I would go for this and I'm talking small very small and I would take a picture of this and then you blow it up it depends on your lens because you have to have a good macro lens and it depends on your camera has to have enough pixels but then you can blow that up really big and it's beautiful so I would get my other Yupos but that's I've you seen it before if you really want to get into the um, into the macro photography just search my videos and put in the word macro and there's one where I explain it from the beginning to the end and I promise once I get into my new studio I will do another video about the macros because I'll have everything set up there and right now um, I do have my camera up but there's still um, there you have to level everything out that's very important you have to level out your camera you have to level out the surface you put your um, piece on because it, it has to be completely level and then you can take really crispy really good pictures okay um, oh yeah I was gonna show another pour which I didn't show in the previous one this is the big uh, the two big ones this is a uh, 40 by 40 they are both 40 by 40 and you've seen me do that there's not enough light to really get it crispy well, that's a little better so there it is I think they sort of go together same uh, same sort of colors in them so that's cool and I'll put you guys back here why is it so dark I don't know I don't know why uh, well I hope you didn't see that that go big and small and big and small we're gonna do the pour so got my little cup and of course we're gonna start off with a little white a little green a little a light green and this is all Vallejo fluid acrylics and Floetrol and it's somewhere between uh, one part of Vallejo paint and three to four parts of Floetrol because I'm sort of um, I don't really weigh everything when I you know when I show you guys to do something I do I do weigh it but not um, not when I do my own paintings I don't think uh, I need to so I'm gonna fill up this cup pretty full because it is a 30 by 30 and I'll need more than I normally do so I'm putting in the last of the blues some more green that the last 
rest of the light green. The colors are all, um, all except the uh, teal. I mixed them myself because uh, I like mixing my own colors. And I really, um, I really suggest you do the same. You know, just put some, a couple of colors together. And the Vallejo is very forgiving with uh, mixing the colors. You know, if you put blue in and you put like a couple of drops of that yellow, you get really beautiful greens. It's very, very forgiving, really is. Okay, I have a full cup, so I'm hoping I have enough uh, paint. I should get a corner catcher. Yes, I should, if I had a piece of cardboard. Uh, we'll just have to do it with a piece of yupo. It's okay. I have an old piece that I uh, that I cleaned. And that's the good thing about Yupo. You can just clean it up and uh, use it again. So here we go. This is the full cup. I am going to do a flip cup or should I do a pour? I'm going to do a pour. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. There we are. Filling up a little hole in the middle. Now, already look at the cells. You know, if you do this, if you buy this paint, I'm sure everyone who uses it is going to get cells. I'm doing it very carefully because I want to keep some of these uh, cells intact. And I really like that I've I've got a lot of green left. Usually it really mixes and then there's nothing left. Ooh, corner catcher, please. There we go. Okay, down this bit. I am liking what's happening, but of I don't have r really enough paint on this uh, thing. Wow, look at that. Look at this. <laughs> that is beautiful. So let's put some on here. It's going to run down. Oh, and there's a lot of stuff happening up here. The more I tilt it, the, the more stuff is happening. That is awesome. Now I, all I have to do is put some down here. And again, we're having a lot of paint coming off all over the, the place. Let me put some more on there. It's going to sell up a little bit. Wow. Look at what's happening. And I am going to try a little torching. I'm not sure if you can pick it up, but as you can see up here, there are two colors green. And, and one is sort of trying to push through the other one. That's pretty cool. Uh, now I'm torching. I'm holding it up pretty high so that I, can, uh, I don't have to swipe it. I will swipe a little for the uh, few air bubbles that I do see, but for the rest I'm just holding it up. See if I do this, as you can see my hand is under it, there's no way, it, it just does not get that hot. So that's what I'm trying to, uh, just trying to get it a little warm so it releases the silicone and lets the silicone go to the top. And that's about it. And when I look over the painting right now, I can already see that a lot of that silicone is on top. Okay, that's it. I like a lot of things happening. Uh, as you can see, this white stuff is coming through. I really like that. Up here, there's a lot of white. 
and um, I like a couple of cells that are popping up here, down here. Then I have a few cells up here, and this is more the swirly type. And that sort of reminds me that maybe it's a good thing. I'll give you a close up and put it away for a bit because I wanna, um, I wanna play with the paint that's on the plastic. There it is. And see how the two colors of green are in there? Couple of cells up here, couple of cells down there. Overall, I think it's a pretty pour. There's some white. Okay, putting you guys back up here and putting this away for a minute. Gotta let it dry. I'll check out the uh, corners in a bit. Okay, because I saw a lot of stuff going on on, on the Yupo. Uh, let me get a little palette knife. Here we are. I just might want to save this one. Get some more blues. There it is. That's that. Put some more up here. And can you see that? Yes, you can. Now I'm going to put some leftover green on top because it's such a nice contrasting color. And I'm going to be swiping, cleaning off the palette knife. Let's do it in my hand. Maybe you can see it better. Oops, and back up. That is pretty. And if I had my camera set up, I would be making some beautiful macros. There's something about this green that is really, really beautiful. But you'd have to get up real close to see this. And I can't really show it that well. Maybe I, uh, if I get you down, I can show you. Yeah. And I'm going to do another one in a bit. I'm sorry, the video will be a little longer, but I want to play a little bit. There it is. That's pretty... That's pretty sharp. See how that beautiful, beautiful. Now, <clears throat> if you were to have a piece like this, I'm sure that you could make, well, at least four or five um, earrings and a pendant. I'm pretty sure. Let's get some of that covered. So I'm going to put this away, let it dry. I dropped that. Man, and I can't get to it. Let's see. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't help but I have to laugh about things like that. Oh, you can't cry about it. Look at that. It fell straight between the, uh, the central heating. <laughs> see, there's even fluffy stuff on it now. Oh, well. Okay, let's do this again. Oh, too bad. I really liked it. This is a, uh, this is not the same. Because I liked it when it had all that light green on it. Let's see if I can do that again. See, it's different when you press uh, Yupo on top of each other. And that's different than when you do a swipe on Yupo. Okay, let's swipe this again. This is pretty too. <laughs> okay. 
Oh yeah, this one I'm liking. Can you see that? Wow, this is <laughs> wow. This is so translucent. This is beautiful. The in between those two white, you see a really beautiful translucent uh, webbing. That is so pretty. Let me just do a little torch. Just a little, little, little bit. Wow, this one is, it's even better. I'm glad I, I dropped it. <laughs> so now I got it on a little board and I'll put that away and let it dry. But that is gorgeous. Wow, I am so making a pendant out of that one. Straight after I finish this uh, video, I'm gonna go downstairs I'm gonna get on eBay and I'm gonna buy those little bezel, bezel things, bezel trays or whatever they call them. So, taking up the last of this paint so we didn't have to spill any. You know, the only downside of doing this is I sort of tear through the, <laughs> through the plastic. Then when I pick up the plastic, my whole table is covered in paint, but that doesn't matter. So, come on, paint. That's paint. Then a little bit of that white. missed it. Too bad I missed it. I think I will make a little bit of white. Just a tiny bit to give a little bit different effect because then otherwise we get two of the same uh, Yupos and that's not nice. I do want one to be a little bit different. So I'm gonna put a lot of white on top here, a lot of white in between, there. Now I'm gonna pick it up, put some more paint on here, and turn it around a little bit. Okay, I think we have enough. Let's just do this. This is funny. Never done this before. Oops. Ooh, nice stuff. But too much paint on here. Way too much paint. See it all come off? That's too much. Just shake it off like that. Ooh, that's pretty too, but we don't want that big red hair in there. Just imagine maybe someone would clone me like after a hundred years, they found my hair in a painting and they cloned me. You wouldn't want another one of me around, right? <laughs> so, okay, let's see what this brings. Yeah, looking pretty. This one has just a little bit more of the white coming through, looking like a lizard skin. Maybe a little more white, let's do that. Like that. And I like that light green, that's what I really like. I am now covered in paint. Ooh, now I almost don't want to swipe it. Can you see that? Beautiful, isn't it? And these are, the cells are so small because I shook the um, Floetrol where the uh, silicone was in. 
and that's why you get these really really small webbings like lacing but very small and um, I, I really like this for uh, jewelry I really like it so we're gonna put this one away too and keep this one and maybe do something with it so side by side totally covered in paint the rest can go I want to thank you all for watching this is the last one for today I already got some orders in my um, paint shop so I'm gonna pack those in a bit and uh, get them out because um, that's cool you know you order something you want it as soon as possible I understand we're gonna do that and I'm gonna say have a beautiful day and see you in the next video bye bye